Hey there Taurus, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. Alright, so um, if you look below, you'll see a link to my Patreon page if you'd like to subscribe to the Meta Moon Society. I am going to enter anyone who subscribes um, and uh, enter to win a free tarot deck. Alright, I'm having a little tongue twister moment there. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what cards we have for you this week. We're going to do a Supernatural Tarot spread, but this week we're going to use the Lucifer's Cage reading. Okay, so the Lucifer's Cage is a notorious prison that has held some of the most powerful supernatural beings in existence. And this tarot spread is designed to show you what's caging you. In other words, what's holding you back from reaching your potential. This spread will show you how to work through those obstacles so that you can live your happiest, most fulfilled life. Alright, so your first card, let me go ahead and cut the deck. And your first card is the death card reversed. Alright, so the death card reversed. This card is going to reveal the behaviors and actions in the situation that are holding you back. Okay. And... Alright, so I guess a lot of people must be feeling this way because I just shuffled this deck like 10 times and this is the second time we've got this spread now. Alright, so it says... Are you resisting change? You know it's inevitable. Reversed, the transformation symbolized by the death card is stalled. While it's natural to fear change, delaying the process won't do you any favors. So be brave and move forward. So whatever's holding you back, whether it be um, a position that you've been in for a long time, or someone or something that's stopping you from doing what you really want to do it's time to move forward and don't look back all right so the seal now it takes 66 seals in order to open this cage so it's going to take an act of congress to get you out of the situation that you're in and it looks like we've got just the guy that does to do the job so crowley is the king of pentagrams which is um Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So if this uh, resonates with you, look to these people to help you. This is what this is what's holding you back, okay? Broken um in order to break these seals, the tarot card reveals the action that needs to be taken in order for you to overcome this obstacle. The King of Pentagrams. Alright, so let's take a look at the King of Pentagrams. And it's reversed. So it says, the king of pentagrams reversed suggests an imbalance in your relationship with wealth. Are you sure that you're managing your money well? Have you recently gotten into um, too caught up into materialism? Re-examine your relationship with your money. And be careful not to let your ego get tied up with your financial status. Okay, so what does your ego have to do with your financial status, right? Um, so this can have to do with what other people think about you as to how you um, save or how you spend your money. So investments are um, something that I always encourage people to do if they're in a situation that they can't move forward. Um, it, it can be a gamble. And as you know, everything in life is a gamble, but it might be worth it. So um, if you don't really feel like investing in stocks or crypto with the market being so crazy as it is, invest in yourself and be sure to put some money where your mouth is, so to speak. And I mean that in the kindest way. So, your last card is the Hero Phant, which is the Taurus card. 
and it also is reversed. So that's three reverse readings now we've got going on here. And uh, three reverse cards in a row, I mean to say. So let's see what the last one says. Breaking the seal. This tarot card represents what will happen when you take the action revealed by the seal card and free yourself from your own personal cage. Alright, so it's one thing if someone else is stopping you, but if you're the only one who's stopping you, Doris, shame. And I can say that because uh, I have quite a few Tauruses that look to me for advice. And Taurus is one of my fellow Earth signs. I can almost feel it when my Tauruses are in a bad mood. I can just feel it. Like, I need to call my friend and make sure she's okay, like right now. <laughs> Okay, or he. I do have some Taurus friends that are men. Okay, the Hierophant. Okay, so this one's reverse too. Alright, so first we're going to read just what the card's about, and then we're going to go on to reversed meaning. So the Hierophant respects and values tradition, order, and rules, much like Billy, the Reaper and later the new death who takes her role as keeper of the natural order very seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need one of those to cut my backyard, okay? It's getting crazy back there in the swamps. All right. When the Hierophant comes forward reversed, it symbolizes the need to shake up traditions and question the rules. Excuse me. Ask yourself if conformity is serving you well or holding you back. Don't be afraid to blaze your own trail and create a path that works better for you. Now, is it just me or did y'all get this card last week? Do you need me to come over there and help you? Hmm? Alright, so something's not right. Something's definitely awry. And let's take a Hermetic card because I feel like these cards are just so right. No matter which one you choose, it's all about the Earth and we are Earth signs. So let's see what the Hermetic deck says. And um, this is definitely, I mean, this is good for love readings. This is good for any kind of reading. And we got one that just jumped right out at me. The Law of Vibration. Nothing resists, everything moves, and everything vibrates. All right, so this goes back to um, pretty much what I say in every reading. So it doesn't matter if I grab this deck or if I grab my manifestation deck. These, but these both, both of these decks have to do with who you are and what you're putting out in the world is what you're going to get back. Okay, so nothing resists everything moves and everything vibrates so whenever you're saying a lot of negative words whenever you're around a lot of negative people when you're around constant chatter of complaining com you know negative vibing people even if they're sick or they're troubled or they're you know whatever they're going through it's definitely dragging you down and you need to voice your opinion and tell them that they're that they're um you know they need to be more positive okay and or cut the cord and start anew all right especially if it's something that you've been struggling with for eons to overcome some things just don't change but you deserve better Taurus and we all do so make sure that you, um, you know, cut that cord if you have to. Do whatever you have to do. If you're tired of, you know, um, the same old monotonous lifestyle and maybe you've been struggling in the day-to-day -day monotony for years, it's time to look up and change to whatever it is that you want to do. Put yourself first. All right, put yourself first. You want to see what card just jumped out while I was reading your cards? The Seven of Cups. All right, so normally I don't read this, but we're not even at 10 minutes yet. So I might as well go ahead and give you one more card. So let this be your love card. The Seven of... Two, two, four, five, six, seven of Cups. Seven of Goblets. All righty. 
I love this card. It is a real eye opener. Um, actually, it's kind of like the worst card in the deck, but if you get it, you know you've got to make change, which resonates with the rest of this reading. Um, seven of Goblets. Three of Goblets. Alright, we're almost there. Hold on. Okay, Seven of Goblets. The Seven of Goblets advises you to keep a grounded perspective when facing multiple opportunities or choices. Grand visions and goals are great, but be careful not to get so caught up in dreams and fantasies that you end up getting yourself into trouble. Now is the time to focus on one thing and choose wisely. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, you're getting to, um, you know, like I like to say, scattered, smothered, covered. Whenever I get to the point, and I am the worst at this. I don't know if I have ADD or something that I just can't focus on one thing at a time. I am always trying to multitask way too much junk. And I feel like it's the detriment of my success. So I have like 17 Facebook pages for different niches, niches that I have concocted over the years. Um, some things I'm passionate about, some things that um, just interest me, but it, it really um, it really is too much. So go ahead and make a list of everything that you're trying to accomplish and mark some of those goals off. Finish them. Finish them. Say, okay, I don't need to do this anymore. Check, 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 check. Mark it off. All right. Get your list out. Mark it off. All right. You know, I keep my little book right here. And I got all my information right here. And it's saying, do this and do that. Don't do this and don't do that. So make yourself a list. And just like Santa Claus, check it twice. And, you know, cut out whatever you whatever you have to cut out. Okay? All right, Taurus, y'all come back and see me next week for a new reading and um, guidance for the future.